I know there are going to be tons of people at my funeral. How can you be so sure? Because I was at my funeral when I was 16. I saw the whole thing. Why? Oh, 16 was a very difficult age for me. My hormones were racing. My body was blossoming. I had urges and yearning so strong. Sometimes I'd wake up in the middle of the night just sweating and screaming and clawing like a trapped panther, unable to release the lusty, steamy passions that constantly threatened to erupt from within me. When I was 16, I had acne and played the accordion in the marching band. Well, nothing seemed to go right that year. But the final indignity occurred during the Miss Magnolia Blossom pageant. Instead of doing the right thing and awarding me the crown as the most beautiful girl in the county, they made me runner-up and awarded me Miss Congeniality instead. At that moment, I vowed to make that town pay for valuing my personality over my perfect body. I hear that Vanna White has the same problem. <laughs> So I decided to kill myself to teach that town a lesson. I phonied up my death in a riverboat accident. I had the captain, who I was secretly seeing after school, help me with all the details. Everything went perfectly. Oh, the town had never seen a funeral like mine. Hundreds of people, beautiful eulogies. And then, just as the minister was getting everybody in a frenzy of grieving, I rushed out and said, Yoo-hoo, it's me, Blanche. I'm not really dead. <laughs> Well, the next thing I knew, my daddy was horse-whipping that riverboat captain and dragging me off to a religious girl's school in Atlanta. <laughs> it was hard to get my daddy angry, but once you did, he could be a real peck of wood. 